Hi everyone, Blast Pop here. I decided to take the skies above the Reich challenge, which essentially is that by going through the sequence of play that exists in the game and then looking up the things as I needed that I could learn the game and play it pretty adequately after the first game or the first mission. So what I decided to do is, is I went and I put the uh, airplanes on the um, blocks here, which I did, and proceeded after that, punched the counters out, and proceeded to play. So, having done that, I went and created a campaign. So, I actually chose 1942. Not truly a full campaign, but a season. And so, with the start of a 1942 season, I have six experts, or expert 10, which are somewhat better fighter pilots, and the season length is six missions. So I'm going to cut my teeth in and realize where I make my mistakes, and then I can probably play a, a campaign. Um, what's interesting is the campaign, as it goes along, you'll find that, for instance, you have like six experts in up here, four, then it's four experts and two green. So as the campaign goes along, the quality of the pilots is somewhat less each one and then flip-flops 1943 light you have four expert 10 and six green and 1944 it's eight green so having chosen 1942 it starts on map one or potentially map 2, which is the smaller 22 by 17 map, smaller formations. I figure I would give that one a go. And there's also the opportunity to run into less allied fighters of quality. Uh, so what I, I end up doing is, is I end up rolling the die. I end up getting a map 1. I rolled a 5, which was near target, and my op points I got, I rolled a 2, which gave me a 2 op points, which are points that are used to spend on aircraft. So I chose two BF-109s, one point each. I didn't have a lot of extra money to spend, so I went with a basic crew. I then chose two pilots. That I was decided to use. I chose um, the first one, who is Idemant, and then I chose Heller. Now, Idemant has timing which allows me to add to my attack result. And Heller was just a normal line pilot. Having chose them, I rolled to see near target who I would get. And I rolled an 8, which resulted in no escorts. Ideal for a first scenario so I can learn the basics of maneuvering the units on and around the board and, and how things go without the interference of an enemy and making my calculations that much more complex. So I was kind of grateful for that. So then, having done that, uh, I continued my setup and um, found out that Formation B is the enemy I was going to be running into. And the enemy 
the B-17s on the way. This particular bomber here was damaged and had to fall out of formation. Um, and I ended up attacking a couple other bombers along the way. This one here and this one here. And I never knocked one out, although some of them did get hit by flak. I was extraordinarily lucky when it came time to taking damage for uh, attacks. Uh, you pull a chit, and then you roll a die. And if you roll equal to or greater than that number, in this case, a 2, it's considered minor damage. And I, I, I was rather rather lucky. There were several times where I was hit, and it was all considered to be minor damage or inconsequential damage, which was very nice. Uh, I ended up having adamant going into the cockpit box at the end of the game where you determine what finally happened to him. And without getting into details, he successfully landed. So I went away really unscathed. Because the bomber went down, I believe I was able to score um, uh, one EP. I got one VP. Uh, EPs are experience points, and that's for the entire Stoffel. I got one victory point for bringing the B-17 down with flak, and I had no escorts. And actually, the guy who was actually hit was Heller, and he was in the cockpit box, So because he, he ended up getting an experience point for that. So, while not a truly successful mission, because I had very limited forces, but it was an ideal game to start without enemy escorts. Just a couple forces to have to consider and think about. I went in, and I rolled on these tables here. I didn't roll these tables, I mean, I pulled a card, got the result. Fairly easy. And after the, about the fourth turn, this mission had a, a flight limit of six turns. About the fourth turn, I was lucky that I was moving right along. I, I, started, I was starting to click and understand. And because of the situation, I had a nice four tactical points, which I never ended up using. Just kind of a shame which are, allows you to maneuver between various points um, on the board, on the approaches to the enemy and so on. Um, and I might have missed an opportunity there, but again, this is a learning uh, scenario and a learning season. Um, it was nice that I was managed to, br to be able to break up the formation a fair bit reducing the amount of damage that um, I might have taken otherwise um, by making them less steady in their firepower against my attacking fighters. So overall, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy how it played. I think I picked up on it pretty quickly. I took, did take the Skies Above the Right Challenge and was able to uh, discern my way through and glean my way through the scenario in the game. Um, I like what I see so far. I'm still reserving judgment a little bit. Um, I think uh, I have to run into enemy escorts and do some more interesting actions, and I'll see how much I really do like it. I get the sense that I, I will be liking this game, and I might be doing some more videos on it as time goes on. Um, that said, while it's wonderfully produced... You got two mounted boards, double sided, all kinds of cards, blocks, you know, all kinds of counters, charts. Um, one of the big GMT boxes here that can withstand being punched. Um, you know, I, I think overall it's uh, a little bit overproduced. But, to tell you the truth, it is a, a beauty of a game. And uh, I have no regrets in getting it thus far. And we'll see if it's got long-term legs as far as being able to be interesting 
and not repetitious in, in a solitaire situation. Anyway, these are my initial thoughts about Skies Above the Reich, my first mission, and what ended up happening. So, please like this video and subscribe. And leave comments down below. This has been Blast Pop. Bye.